So hopefully, I hope that wasn't kind of like confusing for you guys. I wanted to tell you about both techniques so that, you know, it all depends on what you're looking for from your concealer. What are you looking for? Are you looking to underpaint with it? You're looking to contour with it? Are you looking to just conceal the under eye circles? Are you looking to just cover blemishes? Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And if you're new, then welcome to my channel. I'm a professional makeup artist and I'm gonna be showing you educational beauty. Now in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can match your concealer shade. Now, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so that you never miss any of my future videos. And you can catch me over on Instagram too. So make sure you do follow me there. Now let's jump straight into the video. How do you pick your concealer shade? Okay, so I'm gonna show you a few different brands and a few different shades because I really wanna kind of help you bit by bit slowly figure out what your shade is or just help you learn to understand how to find your shade. Now, when it comes to concealer, let's talk about what it's for first. Concealer is there to conceal, right? It's to really help with any kind of coverage you may need. For me, for example, I use concealer for the under eye area. I don't have anything on my face other than a bit of concealer on my eyelids and my eyebrows are kind of like semi-done. Everywhere else I don't have any eye, uh, any makeup on. With concealer, I use it for my under eye areas, but do you need to use it for your under eye areas or do you need to use it for pigmentation or spots that you might have? Or do you use it for like, for example, another thing that I use it for, which is underpainting. I contour with concealer. So I like to kind of like kill two beds with one stone. Like I get that coverage and at the same time I'm getting some sculpting in there. And then I go in with my foundation on top. If you're unaware of that type of technique and foundation on top sounds weird to you, then go check out my other video because it will explain it all to you. And once you try it, you're gonna love it because I think everyone who has watched the video has kind of like ended up converting and they've left comments and they're like, oh my God, this is where I do my foundation now. What, what do you want your concealer for? Do you want it to just cover up some blemishes, some just your dark circles, or are you gonna contour with that as well? That all makes a difference. So for example, I need to use concealer for my under eye, but I also like to sculpt with it. So therefore, what I do is I pick a concealer shade, which is a little bit lighter than my skin tone, right? Because I want that brightness because my contouring, my sculpting is gonna actually help. I, I'm creating that brightness and then I go on top with a slightly warmer foundation which balances up the color out and then I get that that brightness peeking through and it's just a soft focus effect. So if I were to use that same concealer color to actually just cover blemishes or under eyes, then I would feel like that's way too light for me, you know? I'm gonna go on the basis that you're looking for a, for a concealer, which is there to maybe cover some dark circles, but also help to cover up kind of blemishes that you might have. So you want a concealer which is as close to your skin color. I always say that your concealer should be slightly lighter than your your skin tone because it should add a little bit of brightness there too there might be other artists that maybe prefer to match it perfectly in which case obviously that's slightly different but I prefer to kind of match it like make it a slightly slight slightly brighter than the skin tone and that's how I work on my clients too because that brightness comes through under the foundation so okay what I'm gonna do is show you a few different concealers I want to try it out on the back of my hand first and then I'm just kind of show you on this on, on my skin as well and bear in mind we're gonna go for something which is a little bit lighter now when it comes to picking your concealer it's very similar to, to trying to pick your foundation shade because you want to make sure that you kind of narrow it down so you're starting with a whole load and then you're kind of like slowly working your way down and you find your then you find your match then right at the end as you go along you're kind of eliminating the shades that don't really match well with your skin tone actually I tell you what I'm gonna do because I know quite a few of you have kind of started underpainting on like when you do your makeup that's your routine now you start underpainting which is obviously your concealer contour underneath your foundation and I know that some of you still do use concealer to just kind of like just cover up the blemish is or just for the under eyes and then you apply your, your foundation everywhere else. I'm going to show you both. So on one side I'm going to show you the underpainting technique. The te I'm not showing you the technique, I'm just showing you how the colours would differ compared to finding a concealer which matches your skin tone a lot closer, you know, because you're not looking for that to kind of contour, you're just looking for it to conceal and then you use your foundation uh, on top 
or maybe you're one of those who puts your concealer on after your foundation. Either way, it would work that way, right? You, you, that's the right shade. The shade wouldn't change of your concealer. So, okay, I'm gonna start with the side where we underpaint now. And that's where I would pick a concealer which is a little bit lighter than my skin tone. A bit lighter than the color that I would pick for if I'm not underpainting. So I'm gonna go with my Hourglass Vanish Concealer in Beach. Now this is, I'd say a good couple of shades lighter than my skin tone. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this. I'm gonna apply it everywhere that I would actually kind of like sculpt. Now I always go in with a darker shade concealer because obviously then if I didn't, it wouldn't be contouring. So I'm just gonna apply this and then once I've applied it, I'm gonna just quickly talk you through through how I picked these colors. I will be doing some swatches so that you guys really understand that side too. Like how to actually pick it, you know, based on your hand maybe. I'm gonna now apply the concealer that I would use if I'm gonna be matching it very close to my skin tone. I'm using my Tarte Shape Tape in Medium. This is 35N, which is a neutral shade. Now it is a little bit warmer than this Vanish concealer. I do sometimes still use this if I'm sculpting, but only on my under eye area. The other areas I always use a much lighter concealer, but I don't wanna confuse you by using two different concealers here, so we're just gonna stick with that light shade. And maybe I would apply this just like here, just because there's a little bit of darkness there that I have. So I'm not really using it to sculpt in any way, but I am using it to kind of like just add to the areas that I feel that I need that little bit of extra coverage, you know? So it's not really to contour, it's just where I feel like it needs to actually do its job and just conceal. Okay, so before this all dries out, let me just very quickly tell you why, like show you the difference. And, and tell you why. So you can see, this is, hopefully you can see actually, this is a lot warmer, this shade. This is a lot paler, right? It's a lot lighter. I picked this lighter shade because it's gonna open up the area, right? So I don't wanna talk about my placement as to why I applied it in those areas. I have videos on how to contour and the placement of it, so you can go watch those ones because it's a lot more detailed and focuses on that topic. But I just wanna tell you about why I've picked the color because it helps to really brighten the area up. It's way too light for my skin tone, clearly, because if I did that everywhere, it would be just too light. But once I put a darker foundation on top, it comes through perfectly. It's like that soft focus effect. That dark shade, the way I picked that is, it's gotta be, I have a lot of you asking, how do you pick the dark shade for your underpainting? It's gotta be dark enough that it, it has some impact, right? If I went with something which is like, I don't know, like kind of not very dark, but just lighter than this, it's not doing anything. It's not gonna actually create any shadow. So it's got to be dark enough, like a chocolatey brown. If you're paler in skin tone, then obviously not as chocolatey brown, you know? It's got to be dark enough that it does make an impact on your skin tone, but not too light that it's like, where did that go? Do, do you know what I mean? So it's got to, ha it's got to, make, it's got to do, do its job, basically. And if it's not dark enough, it's not going to do its job. It's not going to create shadow, which is what contouring does. We've applied it in whatever areas we've applied it. And then I'm gonna like buff this in. And when I buff it in, I know those areas are still gonna keep that color, right? Now I applied this first. I'm just gonna go ahead and buff this in because then it's easy for you to see. So can you see that brightness is still coming through, but they're kind of like, it's a lot whiter in that area now. I'm gonna use a sponge for the under eye because I feel like it just kind of like fits better. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with my Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood complexion brush again. And I'm just gonna like buff this dark shade. See, if this was much lighter, it actually wouldn't have, it wouldn't have done anything, right? I'm just gonna buff this in. Can you see now? Much whiter, right? Much whiter, too white for my face. But once this is all done, I'm gonna go in with a much warmer foundation. So a foundation that naturally with no contour there would probably be too dark for me. And I'm gonna go over it and then it balances it out. Do you see what I mean? So it just all kind of like slowly kind of meets in the middle and gets that skin color perfect. So that works well. That kind of color works well for me. It's not too pink, it's neutral. It doesn't have too much yellow in there. It's not too warm. It kind of like doesn't change color on my skin either. So the foundation, the concealer works really well for my skin tone. The dark shade is not too gray. It's not too red. So it's just the right kind of chocolatey brown for me. On the other side, we're gonna start kind of like buffing that in. 
And I'm just doing the dark area here because I had a little bit of shadow, not shadow, but like dark, just pigmentation there. Okay, I'm gonna use a sponge for this. And this is literally just to help cover my under eye circles. So I feel that this, even though it is slightly lighter, it's not as white as that area, right? So I feel like I've put my foundation, when I put my foundation on top, just the right amount of brightness is gonna come through. With this side, because I've contoured and I want that kind of really sculpted look, I don't mind it being a little bit brighter, you know? I don't I don't mind that brightness coming through because this darkness is kind of like balancing that out. If it was just the white coming through, it would look a bit too pale even after putting foundation on. But because I'm kind of like creating that sculpting there, I've created the sculpting, it kind of like balances it all out. Whereas here, this is not as white as that area and it's a little bit warmer and I feel like now I can just go in with a foundation and that's kind of like, the right shade concealer for me if I'm just applying, um, you know, concealer just to kind of conceal the dark circles and the areas that I want to conceal. I'm just going to apply my foundation on top because I want you to see both sides. So I'm just going to go in my foundation. The foundation I'm using is number nine neutral in the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin. I'm just going to start applying it on top here and then we'll do the other side so you can really see the difference of how the concealers work. I'm just gonna go in with the same foundation so that you can, it doesn't distort the concealer on either side. So it's just basically the same foundation. You can see how the concealers both look slightly different, right? So I prefer this type of finish. I just generally have always preferred this finish. I feel like I have more of a flawless finish, especially when you finish off with your powder. I have a more lifted finish. I have more sculpting, so I can see more depth in my in my face. Here, I feel like this is how a lot of people do their foundation, and it doesn't matter. It's up to you, however you do it, whatever you prefer. But I don't really like this finish because I feel it's fine on a day if I can't be bothered, right? Or if I don't have time, then I will kind of do this. I overall prefer this finish and this style, whereas this, I feel like, is not... It's just a bit, you know. But anyway, yeah, so hopefully you get what I mean. You can see with the concealers, I still have that brightness that's coming through. Here, it's bright enough, but, you know, if this is what you prefer, then that's fine as well. But it's bright enough, but it's not as bright as the areas here. So this concealer works great with if this is your technique, if you're just putting a foundation on with it and that's it, and you're not underpainting, you're not contouring or sculpting, then that will work well. So if you're choosing a concealer for this type of application, then always go for something which is close to your skin tone, not overly white, so it doesn't look too, too light on your skin tone. It's closer to your skin tone, but just a little bit brighter. If you're using underpainting like this, you can get away with a much brighter concealer with a little bit kind of lighter than your skin tone. So hopefully that kind of makes sense. Now, now that we've done that, I just want to kind of show you when you are matching how that works. So I'm going to swatch quite a few concealers on the back of my hand and you can see how we kind of match up. Now, I'm going to show you on the back of my hand because I feel like that works well and I feel like the inside of the wrist works well when you like when you've just washed your face I feel like it's more kind of uneven like this but over time when it settles down it depends on what you need to figure out is it the back of your wrist or is it the back of your hand that matches your skin tone well for me it's always the back of the hand okay so I've applied quite a few concealers to the back of my hand so you guys can see that there are a couple that match perfectly to the back of my hand and then there are a couple that like quite a few that are quite light in different tones so let me just go through it. If you feel like you have all these shades here and you're like, oh my god, I don't even know which one goes. I know the average person will say, oh my god, that's it. That's the one that matches. That matches your skin tone perfectly, right? The problem is, is when I apply that, it's actually going to end up looking too dark on my skin. You know, that isn't actually, if you've got dark circles, for example, it's that if that's your problem, then you don't want something that is just exactly the same as your skin color. You want something which is a little bit brightening because you want to brighten the area up. So you need that coverage but you need that brightness as well. Darkness needs that. To conceal, it needs brightness as well. So that would probably be okay for like blemishes, but I still feel like it's probably gonna be a bit dark. You know where you can really see a dark patch? I'd prefer it to be a little bit, tiny bit, just not light up, brighter, so that when you then apply your foundation on top, it kind of gives you that veil of color and that brightness is kind of like toned down a little bit. But, you know, 
that's my technique that's how I prefer to to apply it now if you if we go through these this first one here is the tart shape tape in medium is the one that I like close to my skin color but is a bit brighter then you can see this one here which is the vanish concealer from hourglass in beach and I really like that one I feel like it's a little bit lighter than this it's like brighter and that kind of gives me that really nice brightness if I'm contouring like underpainting underneath my foundation then here we've got the this is the Maybelline Eraser Instant Age Rewind. This shade is 160, way too pink, way too pink for me. Then the next one here, we have the Anastasia Beverly Hills Concealer, which is the Magic Touch Concealer in number nine. That's actually okay, probably a bit too bright for me. We're gonna move on, I'm gonna go through these again, but regarding the undertone slightly. Then we've got the next one, which actually is the Rare Beauty Concealer in 290N. So that's that one. Next one is the Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer and it's in Honey, okay? That's that one there. Next one is the NARS Radiant Concealer in Caramel. Those are the shade names. Now we're gonna go through which ones I know for a fact that are definitely not me. I know that is definitely not me. It's way too pink. Just gonna like totally eliminate that from the selection. Okay, got rid of the pink. It's not too much going on, doesn't confuse us. It's a bit more easy on the eye. So we've taken that one out completely. Now this Anastasia one, I feel like is too light. I like the undertone of it because there's not too much, there's not pink coming through it's not too much yellow coming through it's kind of neutral so I quite like the undertone of that but it's gonna be too it's too bright for me so we're gonna get rid of that as well okay next up is this one is the rare beauty now considering considering that says 290N which is neutral that to me is not neutral for my skin tone that is not neutral that is quite orange to me not neutral for my skin tone whatsoever so can you see what I mean that orange is coming through it's not a neutral shade was I feel like the other ones like the, the one that I just took off the Anastasia was more neutral than that there wasn't too much yellow coming through it's pretty neutral not warm this is still very it's kind of not the right shade so we've got rid of that right now we've got these two so we've got this one here which is the born this way in honey it's too dark it's too dark for my skin tone it's just it is way too dark for my skin tone so we're gonna get rid of that that's just too dark so let's get rid of that then we've got this one here which is the nars caramel very close to my skin tone but i do feel like I, like i said i prefer brightness so i feel like that is just a bit too brown for me so we're going to get rid of that as well i personally feel this is the best way for you i'm just making it really easy to understand like how to pick your shade so then you've got these two shades now i like them because they give that brightness to me so my, con I con my concealer is like for brightness and for concealing it gives me the coverage but at the same time i'm getting that brightness come through you can see this one is a little bit warmer than this one this is the vanish hourglass this is the tart shape tape concealer so i love the consistency of both the coverage is absolutely amazing on both concealers you know it's a different it depends what you feel like and depends what works well with you i like both of them they both work well in me but i like the hourglass vanish for when i'm really sculpting and sometimes i even do use the tart shape tape on my under eye but for other areas i will always use the vanish or a lighter shade of a nars concealer so it depends on the type of coverage i'm going for you know you've got to kind of keep narrowing it down keep eliminating until you feel like you get the right concealer shade now by looking at this i can tell it's not too pink for me it's not too yellow for me neither of them are and i feel like they both both kind of like are pretty neutral for my skin tone they complement my skin tone so I know I can go when I apply this on my face like I did on this side I put applied the hourglass vanish on this side and I applied the tart shape tape on this side just on the under eye and I feel like when I apply my foundation on top it warms up just the right amount and then I've got that right shape so hopefully I hope that wasn't kind of like confusing for you guys I wanted to tell you about both techniques so that you know it all depends on what you're looking for from your concealer what are you looking for? Are you looking to underpaint with it? Are you looking to contour with it? Are you looking to just conceal the under eye circles? Are you looking to just cover blemishes? Figure out what you want your concealer for first and then you can decide what shade you want and hopefully this helps you to kind of like just narrow it down. Like have a look 
at the concealers that you have available to you. Don't just go by the name. You can obviously narrow it down through the name, like as in what I mean is the shade name. Once you once you find a few shade names that you like, like don't just automatically think I'm not gonna bother trying the, I don't know, so-and-so yellow shade. Cause you never know, cause brands don't always get it right. So you never know something which says 28Y, which is yellow, may not be too yellow on you. It may be just the perfect amount for you. So don't eliminate it just based on the shade name. You need to have physically have a look at them and that then will be the best way for you guys to determine which concealer is best for you. So I hope this video has really helped in trying to understand how to kind of match your concealer shade. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments box below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so that you never miss any of my future videos. Until the next video, take care and I'll see you soon.